Hello, today we'll be installing an enclosure kit for the Replicator 2 to keep those drafts off my ABS and to help prevent some of the warping when I'm printing ABS on my heated bed plate. Of course, the Replicator 2 didn't come with a heated bed plate. This was an add-on that I did from Bottle Works, so I was able to actually print ABS now. But we want to keep those drafts away as well, so I need to now install a door and some windows on there. Now there's two kinds of frames out there for the Replicator 2. And one of them basically is the Replicator 2 X frame that will already have extended metal here on the frame and holes for screws. Uh, you can tell the difference on this frame because you'll actually have three bolts that go up each side here. And even on the side panels you have you have the middle bolt is what you're looking for. If you have the middle bolt, pull it off. See if you already have these holes here and threads here. And that should make your install a little simpler because now all we're going to be doing is drilling holes in the front PVC panel so we can bolt it to the frame. Now if you don't have the 2X frame on your Replicator 2 and you purchased it probably after December of 2013 or maybe January of 2014 and you don't have these three bolts here going up and down then what we're going to do is install it by simply placing the door with the installed hinges on the front holding it in place with some green or blue painters tape and then marking the PVC where we want the holes to go which I already have previous holes here because I had a homemade door on the front of this previously before I found out that InfoSpace actually made an enclosure kit for it and their kit's a lot nicer than my homemade kit it comes with the hinges and the handles and just about everything you need for the installation here So the first thing I did is I took one of these hinges here and this is actually a tension screw. By, un by loosening the screw it actually makes the hinge looser. So I laid it flat or made sure my hinges were perfectly flat and then after you know the hinges are flat tighten down that screw to give it some tension so the hinge doesn't move on you easily. And I haven't removed the coating on my door yet these are only hand tightened because this is only temporary to mark the holes. So I went ahead and hand tightened four bolts and four nuts on the door with the hinges being straight, which is very important that the hinges are straight to get a, a good alignment. And then we're going to simply take the door and with painter's tape, we'll line it up and we'll tape it in place and make sure it's got even space on on the sides and the top and then after it's taped in place we're going to take a panner or maybe the start of a drill bit and we're just going to simply mark where the holes need to go in our front PVC panel. Alright so I went ahead and lined the door up and I'm looking for even spacing on the right side and the left side and basically the door is just kind of hanging there it's got a nice swing to it and the tape is acting as my hinges right now once you know you have everything lined up, you can go and hold, hold the door steady and then take something, either a marker or maybe even the start of a drill bit if you actually want to, you would need a smaller drill bit than that. But if you were to take a very small skinny drill bit, you could even just mark a little hole right in the middle there by turning it and pushing on it a few times. Now once you get that hole all marked, you can actually drill those holes out using an 11 64th drill bit and that will give you enough room for these bolts to go into place. So once you have the holes marked, we'll go ahead and remove the door and break out the drill and actually drill the holes where they need to be. Okay, I went ahead and removed the tape from the door and removed the bolts, nuts, and the hinges from the door. I'm going to set that aside. 
Now in my case, I already have the actual holes on the frame itself. So what I found easiest to do was to take a drill bit that fits in the holes in the back here. A little too large. Let's go down our size. There we go. So basically I took a drill bit that fits in the holes here, which I already have pre pre-drilled holes as I mentioned from a makeshift door I had earlier, but uh, I pushed in with the drill bit to mark the back side of the PVC panel so that way I know it's perfectly lined up with these threaded holes that are in my frame and then I pulled the panel off to actually drill the holes all the way through and again you want to drill with a 11 64th drill bit and that will give you the size you need for the bolts to fit through there and then we can actually just go ahead and thread it into the frame itself. Okay, so now that we have our holes pre-drilled, we want to remove the protective coating from the front and back of our door. Once we have our protective coating removed from our door, we actually want to hand tighten the hinges on the door. When putting the hinges on the door, we want the Phillips head of the hinge facing down. That Phillips head, as I might have mentioned earlier, is a tensioner to tension how loose the bracket is to hold your door in place when you open and shut it. So we're going to hand tighten these for the washer in the back. And a bolt. And again, we don't want to tighten them too tight, just hand tighten. We want to give it a, a little bit of play because we're going to use that play to adjust the door before tightening it all the way. So now I have the four hinges pre-installed on the door here. You can barely see. With the Phillips head screw facing the bottom and in pre-tightening this or hand tightening this we want to make sure it moves left and right because we're going to need that little bit of play there while we adjust the door. So now we can take our door and actually put the bolts in. In my case we're going to hand thread it into the frame. When hand threading it into the frame if you have those pre-cut holes there, you won't need a washer or a nut to go on the back of the bolt. If you're, hand, if you're actually tightening this into just the PVC, you want to put the bolt through the hinge, through the PVC, reach behind, and put a washer and a nut on the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these up up top here since I know there's not really much play since mine's going right into the frame. Now you should have a door that slides back and forth fairly easy, which I do. So now we can line it up and just check the Alignment for the left side and your right side. Look at your corners. Make sure you got about even spacing around the whole thing, which I do now. And I found this actually fits the, this is actually something from an RC car kit, but it actually fits the bolts perfectly. So I'm going to use this. Instead of a wrench, it's easier to work with. Once I had the door aligned, Hold that nut in place in the back with your wrench or in this case whatever tool you have available like I'm using. Tighten it down. And then we can loosen 
this Phillips head here, which is a tensioner. Loosen that a little bit for right now. And double check the door. Looks good. <clears throat> it's not hitting the bottom, it's not hitting the sides. It's got a nice even spacing around the whole thing. So I think it's safe to say we can actually install the handle down bottom and then move on to the side panels for the windows. So before I move on to the windows, I did want to mention one thing. Infraspace actually makes it in two different colors. I ordered the clear, which is obvious, uh, but they also make it in what I'd call a windshield green, kind of a green tint like you'd see on your car windows. They sent me a sample piece and I actually do like the green but I also like the clear. So you do have an option in picking which color when you order the kit whether you want to go with the green windows and the green door or the clear windows and the clear door. So now we're going to move on to the install of the side panels. The one thing you definitely want to do is take your extruder and make sure it's not in the back or the front. Put it right in the middle. Line that up in the middle because we're going to be doing some drilling over in these four corners. And we don't want that drill bit popping out too far and hitting your stepper motor or the wire to your stepper motor or the wire to your switch or anything like that. So, if the space actually includes this nice little drilling template to assist you on installing your side panels. It even tells you that it's a side window installation guide. They made this fairly simple. The four bigger holes actually will go over top of your thumb bolts here. And once you have these four bolts snug in the cardboard cutouts, again you take your drill and the same size, the 1164 drill bit. And we're going to drill through the smaller holes. So I'm going to proceed through the other three holes here. So I'll be right back. Now that we have our four holes drilled out, we can remove the installation guide with the drill template. And what we'll have is four holes perfectly spaced where they need to be in each corner. And what we're going to notice is these four holes line up with the four holes in your side window panels here. So let's go ahead and remove the front and back of your side window panel. So I'm going to slide my window in, turn it so it's facing the correct direction and then bring it up. Let's take our one bolt, line it up with the hole in the window. Do the same thing on the other corner. And that will hold the window in place. Then we'll take four washers, put them on the back of the bolts and four nuts and tighten it down. And we have our side window installed on the right side. Then we'll have to move to the left side. Now we moved over to the left side where we don't have a window installed yet. Over here on this left side, you actually have your Y switch. 
and it's right behind there. So if you don't feel comfortable drilling with that Y switch behind there, then you should remove the panel. And then after removing the panel, there's two bolts. You can actually remove that Y switch housing while you do this. Put the panel back on. Put your side window installation guide back on. Drill your holes. Take the panel back off. Put your Y switch back in place with the two bolts that are screwed into the frame. And then put it all back together again. And we're going to do the same thing here with our side window installation guide. Line it up over the four thumb screws. And with the 11 64th bit drill bit, we're going to drill out our four holes. Okay, so we've drilled out the four holes required to install that last window. And we'll remove the film from the front and back. Let's go ahead and show you what the green window looks like. That's the same as installing the other window. You want to hold the window in place, line up the holes, and insert your bolt to hold the window. And there we go. There we got it. Do the two bottom as well. Put the washers behind and the nuts behind as well. And there's not much difference in the green, but it does add a little bit of character. It really does. There's the green. Here's the clear front. I don't know how good you can actually get that on the, uh, on the camera. You can see a little bit of difference. Looking at it, I kind of wish I ordered the green, actually. I do kind of like it. Of course, you can't really see it really good when my light's reflecting right off of it. But pretty much at this point, you're, you're, you're all done. You install your last four washers and your last four nuts on the back of your four bolts here. Take some Windex and clean off your nice, pretty, shiny enclosure. And you're good to start printing with less drafts now. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope it helps you with your install of your infant space enclosure for your replicator 2. And I hope it made it a little bit easier for you. Please leave comments down below. If you leave anything negative, I'll probably just ignore you anyway. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks.